What's up guys, your boy BunnyBoy05 here. I just want to give you a video on actually how to do the new version of Mod Manager, the most updated version. So all the links for the mods and the Mod Manager are going to be down below. But uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the Mass Effect 3 tweaks.com slash Mod Manager slash, like I said, I'll have it down in the description. Uh, once you install that, it's actually going to have this type. When you open the application, it's going to give you all this stuff. Uh, so the first thing before you do anything, you want to do backup. When you do backup, this allows you to back up your files in case something breaks or something's wrong or you just want to reset the game back to its vanilla state so vanilla state meaning original game so after you've done that then you also have a certain mod so you have when you go to mod management import mod and download mod maker mod maker is this type of mod so you type in a code you get a certain changes in the game it's mostly used for multiplayer but it can be used for single player too these mods can intertwine with what we call showcase mods. These are a completely different mod. Like, for instance, Rejection and Redemption. These are DLC maps. Uh, scaling add-on. These can be combined and actually activated with other mods. But if you have a mod maker mod, you only can have one active at a time. Like, let's say uh, you go down here, download mod maker mod, you type in 5441, which is my mod, and then you do download and compile. Now, if you do have a, a mod maker mod with with mixins in this version, it will already apply those, so you don't have to click yes or no like the previous versions. So that's that's that. And then you have AS, ASI Mod Manager. This allows you to do a lot more. You can uh, fix some bugs, uh, balances in the game that if you change. Currently, it doesn't work for me. That's one of the bugs. Um, it should work for you. Now, let's say you want the redemption or these right here, redemption and rejection. So you will download it when you go to Showcase, Showcase, Redemption or rejection it doesn't matter what source you get it from cloud i think it was it mega and nexus it doesn't matter which one you still get the same thing but when you download that you'll have a file in your downloads folder and when you have that in your downloads folder where is mine actually so yeah it says rejection and redemption all you have to do is basically drag it on over and it will give you this message and you go to import mods you can install it which would install it right as in uh, you import it now the other thing that's interesting about this is that uh, let's say you want to disable the DLCs because if you have two DLCs or one DLC that somebody doesn't have, you can't play with them. You just go to manage target and then here's all your stuff. It's DLC manager. Yeah, this is like the, the custom made stuff. I don't really pay attention to that, but you can always reset uh, your files by just going back to your backup, which is located in your back, uh, your restore under backup and restore. Self-explanatory. There's one more thing I want to tell you guys if you want to get a lot installer. A lot installer will basically help you with um, this upgrades the graphics in the game. This is for Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. So you can do you can do them separately if you want to. You can do the whole thing. It doesn't matter. But once you download this A lot installer, you cannot install any other mods or anything else on the game. If you do, it will break your game. So please, please have the mods installed first. I don't know how to undo it. I think you would have to like repair the game, uh, which doesn't really take that long. But or you can refer back to your backup i'm not sure i also have a twitter facebook and twitch and discord make sure to check those down below and i'll see y'all in the next youtube video